So before starting this video, I'd love to thank Relevel for sponsoring this entire video. A hiring platform with no degree required, no experience required. Mentoring sessions available, feels like a dream, isn't it? What if I say, all of this is for free? Well, Relevel by Unacademy is here to make your dream come true. With job opportunities in front-end, back-end and business development from India's top companies for freshers and people in the early career, Relevel is here to make the entire hiring process super simple and super quick. All you have to do is to give the Relevel test and based on your score, interviews will be scheduled and you will be hired. So what are you waiting for? Make sure you check out all the links in the description and apply for the Relevel test as soon as possible. Hey everyone, welcome to another lecture of the Free Cut Tree series. Now, in the previous videos, I have explained about the DFS traversal technique, which is the pre-order traversal. So we're going to see the coding implementation of this pre-order traversal. So again, uh, if you have seen the in-order traversal video, we will not complicate things and we'll keep it simple. Root, left, right is what the pre-order traversal is. So again, we'll write the pre-order. The C++, the Java code are almost similar. So we'll take the node and if that's null, we're going to return. Otherwise, we are doing a print and after doing the print, we'll move to the left and after we come back from the left, we'll move to the right. So that's a simple code. But if you do the dry run, then you'll understand why this code works. So, as you know, initially we start from the root. Like initially the call comes for the root of the tree. Okay. So we start from the root of the tree. So you're starting with the root, comes to the first line, print. So you'll print one. So one can be printed. Okay. So one is printed. Next says node left. So we will come to nodes left and we will stand over here. Next, for 2 it will come across print, correct? So 2 will be printed. 2 is printed. Next is again left. So we will come to left. We will stand over here. Again 4 comes. So the pre-order of 4 is called print. So 4 will be printed. Once 4 is printed, next you call for the left of 4. So when you call for the left of 4, it's a null. It's a null that you call. So if node is null, it returns. So we go back. So print is done. Print is done. Left call is done. Next is right. So we call for right. At right also, we find null. So we will return. So as I can see, for the four node, the pre-order traversal, print, left, right is completed. So the entire stuff is completed. So can I say the recursion is over? If the recursion is over, I will get back. So for two, print is done. Left is done. Time to go to the right. Let's go to the right. So if you go to the right, you will stand at 5. Correct? So you come to a new node 5. Again, print. So you print 5. Once you have printed 5, what you will do is, you will go to the left. So currently, you are at node 6. Again, node.data, print. So you will print 6. So I made sure that I printed 6. Once you have printed 6, what you will do is, you will go to the left of 6 because after print, it's the left. Once you go to the left, you'll find null. The moment you find null, it will return. So make sure you return it. So for 6, printing is done. Left is done. Time to go to the right. Right says it's a null. So again return. So for 6, print is done. Left is done. Right is done. So what I can say is 6 is over. So it'll go back. So for 5, print is done. Left is done. Right, it will go and it will find it as null. The moment it finds it as null, it goes back. So 5 goes back, correct? So 5, print, left, right, everything is completed, goes back. For 2, print is done, left is done, right is done, goes back. For 1, print is done, left is done, time to go to the right. Goes to the right, recursion goes to the right. So as of now, I am at 3. 3 says, Print. So I'll print 3. Once you print it, it says go to the left. Goes to the left. Stands at 7. When it comes to 7, again says print. So please make sure you print it. So I made sure I print it. 7 says go to the left. Comes to the left. Finds null. Goes back. For 7, print and left is done. So it will go to the right. And the moment it goes to the right, it finds null. Comes back. So for 7, print. Left, right is completed. So the recursion is over. Goes back. 3 is printed. 
left is completed comes to the right and when it comes to the right it sees 8 the moment it sees 8 it prints it once printing is done goes to the left now once goes to the left says ki this is a 9 so why don't you print it okay next goes to the left nothing comes back goes to the right nothing comes back for 9 print left right is over comes back for 8 print left right is there so goes prints 10 goes to the left nothing goes to the right nothing goes back 8 is completed goes back 3 is completed goes back completed goes back so that's how you can easily get the pre order traversal again one then the left tree so that's 2 4 5 6 4 8 should be 3 7 8 9 10 10 root left right so basically three lines again no need to complicate don't complicate keep it simple just write whatever you want to write if you want to first visit root just write it if you want to first visit left write it keep it as simple as possible that is how binary trees are sort don't complicate keep it as simple as possible so this will be the pre order traversal technique if i talk about the time complexity that's a bigo of n where n is the number of nodes why because at max 1 2 3 like how many nodes are there that many times you are going correct so that is why the time complexity is bigo of 1 and the space complexity is auxiliary space of the height of the tree of the height of the tree at the worst case the height of the tree can be a skew when a tree like this is given so at max the auxiliary space which is used in recursion can be big of n so i can say uh, this is the time complexity and space complexity in order to do the pre order traversal so guys i hope you have understood this entire code as well as this wonderful recursive diagram just in case you did please make sure you give a like to this video and i'll be leaving the c++ and the java code links in the description below with this let's wrap up this video and if you're new to our channel yeah do consider subscribing because i'm going to bring much more videos like this so yeah let's wrap up this video now and with this bye bye take care whenever your heart is broken